Hello ladies and gentlemen, toy enthusiasts and those new to Tough Nerd Toys LLC. I'm your host Uncle Nerd and welcome to another episode of Bust It Open. Busting It Open since 2007 and today we'll be reviewing Marvel Legends series Captain America Build-A-Figure Red Skull Onslaught. Now there, I've read a few of the comic books of about the uh, Onslaught, the, the um, Captain America series or like where, uh, what's his name? Red Skull was in it and he became like the Onslaught entity or took the persona of it. I mean, it wasn't bad, but I mean, like, yeah, to me, there's nothing like Magneto and Charles Xavier being the combined consciousness to make Onslaught. So what we're going to do, we're going to put this build a figure together real quick. And I'm not, I'm, I mean, I'm going to be very honest with you. I'm not really that excited about this build a figure, but I'm still going to do it. And more than likely, um, I might, I'm not sure, but I'll end up selling this guy or something like that because I really wanted him with the Magneto head. And I knew with the new X-Men line that they're coming out with they have the Magneto head within there. I think Kitty Pride or one of them comes with the head. I don't know. It all depends because, I mean, like, he's not, I'm not as excited about him as I was about, you know, Hulkbuster Iron Man or anything like that. But we'll see once we put him together. And again, you know, this is my first time putting together, putting them together. I had all the pieces, so we're going to pop them together and see how it goes. So with that being said, let's get at it. And no, I'm not going to cue the Voltron music. They messed with me last time because I um, use Voltron music YouTube was like, oh, what are you doing? I was like, all right, all right, no problem. But yeah, that would be awesome. But no, he doesn't get Voltron music. All right, so first we're going to start with all the pieces here. We have his uh, back panel, his head right there, his two two arms, his left and right arm, um, his legs, and his torso. The, sh the um, shoulder pads are already put on already because, you know, I just wanted to pop them on real quick because I probably would have lost them if I hadn't uh, done that. So... With that, you know, you can look at the detail of the figure's face and everything like that. This is actually going to be the head of, um, of, uh, what's his name? Red Skull Onslaught. You can see it. It's greatly detailed, you know. And, so, and this same head can fit on side of other figures within the Marvel Legends line, like this, uh, what's the name right here? It can fit on it, but it's just that it's so big. It looks... It looks weird. And this this is the uh, Captain America Winter Soldier uh, Red Skull right here. I actually like this figure a lot. I really like this figure a lot. You can pop the head off. Let me see. I, I don't really feel like... I'll do it. Hell. And you can push it on there. But you got to push it on security. And like you got to really give it a shove like that. And see how it looks? It just looks weird and odd and big and stuff like that. That's why I like him with the original head that he came with right here. So yeah, let's put this guy over here. And what we're going to do, we're going to start putting this guy together real quick, okay? So we're going to take this torso piece right here. You know, you can look and see it has the ab crunch and everything like that. You know, take this torso piece, put the leg on it. And the leg has a, is on a, I think it's on a, yeah, it's on a double hinge knee. Not that much pivoting, but you, not that much circling. Like you can't go in a circular motion with his ankle or anything, but you can go up and down. So we're going to pop that on, oh, wait, let's make sure it's on the right one. I'm going to pop that on there. Oh, man, this guy's kind of tight. Hold on. Okay, there we go. We pop the leg on there. I'm going to take this leg. Oh, my God, I'm pushing too hard. And I think that's on. Pop that on there. So, so, so far, we have the legs and the torso. And then we're going to take the arms. Maybe I should have kept these what's the names off first. Yeah, so let's take these off right here. Take these off, pop the arms in. That's in. Pop this other arm in. That's in. Back them up a bit. I think this shoulder guard goes on here, yeah. The shoulder guard goes on here. Hold on, let me bring it up a little bit higher so you guys can see.
that shoulder guard on there. Nice and secure to give it a little squeeze. Take the head. I do like the detail on the head. The head is nice. They did a great job on the head. I like it. There we go. Heard that snap. And finally, we take this little back panel or his back shielding or whatever the case may be. Plug that into the hole right here. And there, we seem to have Red Skull Onslaught. Now, his range of motion is very limited everywhere. Like, you get a lot of, you get some good hip movement in between here, like in the crotch and everywhere. But as far as like the knees and everything, no, those are pretty decent and everything. This is pretty decent. But his range of motion in his arms are, even though they can go all the way around, of course, the engineering of the figure prohibits it from going all the way around because of the shoulder guards right here. Maybe I kind of like him, but I think I would have liked him better with the Red Skull. Because I was, to me, I always felt as though Onslaught was iconic to Magneto and Xavier. So that's the reason why I'm a little bit like, meh. Because even when I read the comic and he was in there, I was just like, meh, meh, meh. And he's pretty decent. I mean, like, it's not like I don't like him completely, but I wasn't really that excited for him. I mean, he has nice details in his hands and everything like that. Wrists go all the way around. Head turns, th it, can, it can't turn 360. The head cannot turn 360 because of the simple fact that, you know, you got the, as I said before, the engineering of the figure is a little bit, it's not bad, but it's just, you know, conflicting with the movement. You know, this right here. Paint scheme, the paint scheme you could really pretty much say is molded into the, or sculpted into the plastic or the, the, you know, the construction of the figure. So it's not too much, but the paint scheme on the face is phenomenal. That I really like. He's a pretty decent figure and let's give a little measurement to see how tall he is. Let's get him up nice and straight like that. And he stands at about mm, almost nine inches. Not fully, but almost nine inches. Not fully. Yeah, and he stands up at like, I would say like nine, not fully nine inches. No, he's like eight and a half. And that's me standing him up straight. Um, and here's him in comparison to the Toy Biz onslaught, which was actually very weird to me. And in the comic book, most of the time when he was, when Red Skull was confronting people or anything, he stayed in his big form. It was only a few times that he shrank down into the, uh, the, the human size or like, you know, so that he could relate to humans or at least like communicate with them. But like he shrank down into that size. And this is him with the, uh, the Toy Biz version of um, Onslaught, which is, I've always found this to be weird because this was Onslaught's final form in the um, comic book. Like when he really lost his business, you know, there's no, we got, oh yeah, this has a little shielding on the back. So I guess that's supposed to represent his little crustacean back piece right there. And again, this is just the onslaught from the Toy Biz, which was Toy Biz was amazing with their toy. Sometimes they would do exceptional work and sometimes you'd be like, what are you doing guys? Yeah, that's him just next to the other What's the name? But as a whole, he's all right. He's very generic, if you ask me, in terms of like, I don't know. He looks like something from like the early years of the DC Universe figures. I don't know. I might keep him, but I'm having to, more than likely, I'll just sell him because I'm not really fond of this guy. I don't think I really want him. I don't want you. I don't want you. But this guy here, I really like this Red Skull figure here, though. Uh, yeah, and I mean, like, um, that's about it about this guy. I mean, this builder figure wasn't that eventful for me. I don't know. I don't see myself really like holding on to him. And again, I know they have the Magneto head that's out pretty much now for this figure. But um, I, don't know. I mean, he has pretty decent range of motion. You know, nice ab crunch right here. 
great molding, great painting, so on and so forth, but it's basic. I mean, it's what you would expect in a figure like this, but it just, just looks so generic. It's just something about it. I just, it's just not grasping me like the other figures have, the other builder figures have. And there have been some builder figures I just wasn't fond of. I mean, I was just like, whatever. And yeah, I mean, you know, look them over and leave, you know, messages down, you know, leave some comments down in the um, comment section below. Let me know what you think about them. He's all right. I mean, but it's just not, you know, you got the little foot pegs on the bottom and everything like that. But like I said, I'll probably be selling them. I'm not really going to keep this guy. I don't think I'm going to keep him. I don't know. Sometimes I wake up the next day, I'm like, oh, I'm keeping you. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I just want to give a shout out to my man, JC, over at Toy News International. Also free play mode and new game in order. These guys are wonderful. I mean, they're all great, wonderful people. You should check out their channels. I got the links in the description down below, or either you can check my related channels. You'll see over there who's who, what's what, what's going on, what they got going on. And listen, if you're definitely into like gaming news and you're into like action figures like myself, so on and so forth, check out JC for some good action figure reviews and up to date related news on San Diego Comic Con because there was some great stuff that came out. I mean, like you have to see some of these new toy companies and a whole lot of stuff, even the stuff that NECA's pushing out. Hasbro, everybody is just on their game this year as far as toys and collectibles and everything. 2016 and 2017 is going to be a great year for toy collecting. But with that being said, that brings this review to a close. Please be sure to like, subscribe, and comment here on YouTube and share this video. Also, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and finally, Twitch for more unedited, unedited dialogue, news, reviews, and gameplay. Finally, don't forget to hit the donate button as any little bit counts and is greatly appreciated. Not to mention a portion of the proceeds go to various charities. I'm Uncle Nur, thanks for tuning in, and if and don't forget, if you don't, but uh, and don't forget, if you buy a toy, bust it open, I will take your pain, feel my wrath, taste my pain. Urgh.